Hello and welcome to Total Network Inventory Tutorials and Examples. The License Module is a mode that allows you creating new licenses by linking them to existing installations and linking license keys to software products automatically. Software licensing methods may vary, so all the features and functions described in this module are basic and unified. Let's take a closer look at the elements description of this module. All displayed elements have a similar structure and purpose just like in other TNIS modes, and can be divided into the main list of licenses displaying all previously detected and created licenses, a list with all licensed software, the details panel that displays all additional information, and a sidebar containing preset templates for building reports and the ability to create your own templates. Now let's move to the main functionality of the license module. As we can see, the program already has previously detected installations and licenses attached to them. By selecting an app from the list, you can see that the license is already tied to it and has all the necessary information, including license keys. But if you want to create your own license and specify all the data for it, then use the corresponding button in the main area of the program. In the License Properties window, fill in the data that will be useful later when registering the license. In the Name line, you can specify either your own license name or leave this field unchanged. If you leave this field blank, when you select a license to an app to which this license belongs, the license name will be automatically corrected. Next, we see that keys are required for this license. When creating a new license, by default there is a one activation per key. But if you want to change this number, then the number of activations filled in the license will allow you to specify the exact number of activations per key or set this number to unlimited. In some cases, the keys are not required for this type of license. You can deactivate this option by clicking on the corresponding switch. In this case, during further calculations, the license module will not calculate license keys and will not check for compliance with installations. Additional fields for license purchase date, license expiration date, price, recurrent fee, and comment allow you to provide more detailed information about the license. This data will help you in the further calculation by the license module and it can be reflected in the generated reports. Let's now add the keys for this license ourselves. Enter the data using the Quick Key Add menu. But if you, for example, have several keys and want to add them to one license, then the multiple add menu will make this task easier. In this window, you can enter each new key separately on a new line or specify a separator character. This will come in handy if you store your keys in a text file. All you have to do is copy and paste this data. TNI will perform the splitting automatically. The license with keys has already been created and now it needs to be assigned to the installations. This action is aimed at matching the previously created license to the installed software on the devices. This will allow TNI to perform all necessary calculations and display all data in the details panel. But in this case, the license on the devices is missing. At the same time, you may notice that for some devices, the keys have already been discovered, despite the fact that the license has not been assigned. To bind a license for the display devices, go to the Details panel in the Status column, select a license from the list. TNI will immediately display all data for the current installation. If the current installation already has a previously entered key, then when specifying a license, this key will be automatically added to the assigned license. In this case, the Details panel shows that when activating a key for one installation, one key is already in use showing a match signal, and the other is problematic, exceeding the allowable activation limit. Note that the license's main menu also contains important information about licenses. The installations column shows how many devices have installed the app matching the selected license. And the activations column will show how many keys have been used out of the total number available under the license. The information displayed on the status of licenses is completely duplicated by the details panel data. When working with TNI, scanning or import operations are often performed. If TNI receives fresh data after any of the specified operations, the license module will automatically calculate all licenses. For example, let's import devices into some groups of the network tree.
As we can see, the tabs of the Software Accounting module and the Licenses module perform data updates. After this process is completed, all information on apps and licenses will be updated, and now you can see that the number of installations of the selected license has increased. Let's add the current settings to the previously created license. When adding, we see that this installation has been added to the license, but it has no key. Using the License Keys field in the Details panel, you can enter the key right there. But you can also select any of the previously added keys for the current license by opening the list of keys and selecting any suitable one. Now let's assign a license and the remaining keys to the rest of the installations. If the installation adds a key that is already in use, or when importing a device, it turns out that the key was previously added, TNI will immediately warn you about exceeding the license limit. The Details panel, or the general list of all keys in the license, will tell you which key has been exceeded. You can also see it if you turn on the Activation per Key option. If you want the installation to be deactivated or you need to mark it as problematic, then turn the status switch to red. Thus, the Details panel will inform you about all warnings and the License List area will duplicate this information in the Notification column. Note that when switching the installation to non-compliance mode, this action will affect the overall accounting of licenses. For your convenience, a License Management tab has been added to the Details panel. From here, you can quickly keep track of licenses and their installation keys. Using the Quick Setup menu, you can change the properties of a license or perform a quick transition to the license mode. Just like build table reports and software accounting modes, the license mode also has a report and template constructor. By selecting any of the available templates, the program will generate a report from the license. All information will be displayed on the Details panel and can be easily exported to the most popular formats or sent to print. In addition to data on installations, their licenses and license keys, the Details panel also contains additional payment modes and special fields. Let's take a closer look at each of them. The Payment mode is used to display the payment history for all licenses for a specified period. The output of payment information is based on the data entered in the license. Specify the required amount, currency, payment frequency, and the TNI will display this data on the Details panel in the Payment mode. For example, we need to update information on payments. After highlighting all licenses in the main list and selecting the period you are interested in, Go to Software Products that provide annual payments. By filtering out expiring licenses, the main list will display license software that may cause problems in the future. You can export the resulting summary in a desired format or mark selected licenses with a special tag. Just like in the software accounting mode, using the tax functionality, you can easily return to the desired tag using the corresponding filter in order to update information about the cost and frequency of payments for a license or extend the expiration period if necessary. This license cost calculator will be very handy if you need to display the frequency of payments or need to evaluate licenses for a certain period. The next mode is the ability to add custom information for the license. Here you can enter any data that you see fit and you can even attach a file. All entered information can later be easily reflected in reports. With the License module, you'll always be aware of the status of all your license installations and be able to manage them. If you want to know more about this module, our online manual will help you find the right solution. Thanks for watching.